Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away series i did do a pre-travel day yesterday um so if you've watched that then you already know After that it's a new travel yards. series and if you haven't then this would be your first one and um, we are going back to florida we're not going for like a long time it's only a seven night trip but that's fine we are very excited we stayed at the premier in crawley goths park last night first time we stayed there it's my chosen breakfast i asked for lots of mushrooms and i got lots of mushrooms <laughs> so... <laughs> what are you laughing at did you say i sound like i'm broke <laughs> You repeated yourself twice. I know because I said it the exact same. <laughs> I was like, I looked at me when she's broke. I said it wrong. <laughs> Taking a Mickey. Being greedy. I've had everything. Abby has a big pile of toast. No, I've had eggs. You piled like a hundred on there. Yeah, but you've only got four there now. Are you going to eat all four? Yes. Jake's gone. Toast. Hash browns, and he's just realised that he liked pan a chocolate. He thought it was a brioche, and it's not, and he liked it. I was just saying, I think when we went to the airport and I bought toast for breakfast, that we got maybe two slices, so we probably got about twenty pounds worth of toast. On first impressions, we got there, and he said, "Oh my god, what have you booked us into?" Um, and it was actually really nice. The yeah, restaurant was really nice. We arrived very late. Oh, the sun is on you. Yeah, right. Mm. We arrived really late and it looked pretty on them on the outside, but then it was really nice. The restaurant was nice, and then in the morning it looked really nice. So, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, we stayed there last night and now we are heading to the car park. We're booked with APH. Um, again, I used my Tesco vouchers. If you've seen our last vlog series um, in August, then I did explain in the holiday planning video how I used vouchers um, to get it cheaper. I think I paid about £1.50 for car parking um, here, so that's great. And we we're only about 10 to 15 minutes away from the car park from the hotel, which is perfect. Don't have to worry about rush hour traffic. Um, our flight is, we're flying to Tampa again, to Gatwick to Tampa with BA. Um, the flight's not until half past 12 which is a little bit of an awkward time really because obviously you need to get to the airport maybe three hours before which would be half nine which means traveling at proper rush hour and getting on the motorway and all of that and it's i, I can't take the chance that it's going to be road closures or accidents or traffic so staying up here when it's a weekday um is perfect but yeah we're on our route now to the car parking so we'll, we'll see you there yeah, is what I took you to the Hooligan plant area. Then, <laughs> at the end of the road, turn left. No, sat now, be taking us the wrong way. You can Shut say up, goodbye Margaret. now. See you, Margaret. Yes, we have named our sat now for Margaret. Right, we're just going to park up in any bay. Or we're going to go with this one. Then all you have to do is take all of your bags out, head in there to check in. You give them your name, maybe reference number if they ask for it, your name. flight details so they know when you're coming back. And then I think before, I think they said to leave your key on the seat. So you've, got to, you've got to give them your height and your weight, yeah. and your date of birth, and your eye colour, and your name. Yeah. Do you want to go in and tell them all that while I wait here? Yeah, <laughs> As I thought, they have asked for the key to be left on the seat. And now we head to the bus. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, it oh. Let them do the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just record it. <laughs> <laughs>
through security and they took us through the family assist not because we were a family but I think they were just trying to move people through that way but then my uh, boarding pass wouldn't scan typical I did the email one and it's really small I didn't like it so somebody else had to scan it for me but that was fine and then security was really oh, what's it really quick five minutes ten minutes maximum if that um, we're now going to have a look round. Uh, we're in South Terminal, I don't know if I've said that already. Jake wanted to sit down, so he's going to sit over there with the bags and we are going to have a walk around the shop. Um, if you watched the pre-travel day video, you might know that I forgot my makeup bag. So now we have to buy makeup at the airport, which I'm not very happy about. I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I don't need much, but all Abby bought with her was mascara. Ooh. I have got your mascara on. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I'm going to have to buy some makeup, which I'm annoyed about. Yeah, that's in the middle there. Yeah, but uh, it changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so pretty. It's so cool. Abby changes their fashion like the wind. She's into um, track suits now. <laughs> so she's just pointing out all the things she wants for Christmas. It's a bit cheaper here actually, so if you do see something, you do get, I think you get the tax off, so. Let's see. That actually says Junior on it. Does it say Junior on the top? It's a kid's one. <laughs> Very nice. You wouldn't wear hats. Do your hair now. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> good look. Your hair's a good look. <laughs> oh my god. Can I get to it? I've actually got Twixes in the suitcase. What suitcase? The one that's packed. You can have them in the room. Landing on your mother's porch. Are you really going to buy a six pound bar of chocolate oh, again? So that's what I wanted. Well, I yes, no. I'm not allowed that, right? Well, if they say you're not allowed peanuts on the plane, then no, you're not allowed it. So I'll get a cocoa and biscuit. Anyway, I'm going to get these for the plane. So should I get three? No! You don't need one for the way home. Then what would the other one be for? <laughs> I prefer not to spend like 30 quid in WH Smith. I'd spend, not spend about 100 pound on makeup, which I don't spend on Well, you need it. Oh my god. <laughs> Two drinks. <gasps> what does this say? Right. Free drink. So I not get that. You want a drink? Yeah, I'll put it. Then I'm yeah, going to have to buy it, it then, aren't we? Are we going to pub and buy some? Right, now put your chocolate through. Yeah, at least that's worth it. Worth it. <laughs> How are those three quid? Right. Two ninety nine. This is why I've brought an entire bag of food for the plane. Yet we still end up buying this. Obviously, you have to buy drinks. No, no, no. You can't take them free. No, no, you and it's the only place you can buy a milka bar. You, that. you said to me the other day, "Do you want anything from Tesco's for the plane?" And I was like, "Yeah, milka bar. I'll buy it at the airport." You're like, "Okay, that's all." So you can't. Remember. And then what did you say? I'll also have a pick mix uh, and Pringles. Yeah. Bag or no bag? No bag. Look, okay. I'll just go and give Jake his drink. Okay. All right, Abs, have you got your money? Mm -mm. You're paying, aren't you? No. You're not going to pay for all this for us. Joke, so you just want a free holiday? What? You just want a free holiday and everything paid for you? Do you think you're a child? All right, let's head into duty free. So I know it's really weird. I was looking for a concealer and I picked up a Dior one and I tried it. You know, has she got high shoes on? I'm trying to look at my eye. Oh, it's still. <laughs> Better than the one that I've got, I think, already. I think I might try it. It's um, £23. I'm gutted. Picked up the wrong one. Picked up the foundation, oh. and they actually don't have the concealer in the colour I needed. I didn't film in boots. I realised I only had about ten minutes before they were going to call our gate, so I just kind of ran in 
I'm like frantically trying to choose what to buy, so I don't even know what I've got. Oh, go Jake, go. Um, so we're heading to the gate now, we are gate 15. Um, we fly in about, well we're due to take off in about 50 minutes. So we've got plenty of time to walk there. Actually I don't think it's that far out here by the looks of it because I can already see gate 10. Being out, he's got no one sat next to him. You can't hear me. See how long I've got, oh, I was going to say, see how long I'm filming for before you realise it. You've got lots of leg, well, not lots of leg room, but you know what I mean. Come here, we'll squeeze him. Fast. I think so. he's maybe a couple of rows spare, but loads of people are spaced out. It's lots of one side. Cabin crew door to automatic, cross check the key. Each of them. Yeah, there's lots of just one person, like per row. See, it's not a full flight. Yeah, well, that. Be. But we may one wait until we go out, and then when it's in the seat mm -hmm. outside, the door, then um, we might go and see if there is some spare seats. Move around a little bit. Teenagers. Headphones in all the time. We're finally in Tampa. It's getting dark. Ian and Jake are in front of us. They've rushed off. They're just waddling behind, up me. Maybe she's kind of music off. She can hear me. You're speaking really quietly. I know. I don't feel like I can speak loudly. Well, just be normal. Do you have a nice flight? No. No, why not? I hate flights. Yeah, I'm not a fan of flying. I don't, I'm not scared of flying, I just um, don't really like it. <laughs> it's boring, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, and we want to come. We have to put up with the flight. I'm going to assume this one's coming as everyone's going on this side. There you can see it. Oh, look, I never, well, obviously, never noticed that before, but that obviously is where you go through when you're going home. Right there. Because I remember that part in the vlog, <laughs> the ceiling. So as soon as you come through baggage reclaim, which is over there, you come straight over to here. And you jump on your little shuttle, which takes you over to the main terminal. And then you can get your taxis or your car hire or whatever it is that you have. Oh, it's open. Go, 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 Jake, go. And here we are in the terminal. No, we'll go to the other end. We've got some nice briefs. We've got our flamingo friend over there. 
just waiting for us. Well, we were only here not that long ago. It wasn't very long ago. <laughs> Huh? It wasn't very long ago. Only three months ago. Oh, look, we can walk underneath him. Yeah, that's like actually. Hi! That's actually brilliant. That is terrifying. Right, I think it's straight on for car rental. Yes, it is. There's rental cars. Then we go up the escalator, and then there is another tram to take us over. Okay, so we're down on level three for Avis. Right, we are going to C35. Oh. We've got the Ford Escape. That's nice. Keys inside. Oh yes, it has Apple Play. I don't know if all these cars have Apple Play now, but we have it, which is great. And I haven't told you yet where we're staying. But now you know. Same place as last time. Same place as last December, yeah. We actually quite liked it. Um, so let's see if it's any different than it was last time found a country Christmas radio station. That's perfect. We just stuck in some traffic on the I-4. did say there's been a car accident, didn't it? Yeah, 15 yeah. miles. I think. 15 minutes, I think it's, I think it was minutes, 15 minute delay. We're almost here. I can see Icon Park in front of us. No, I don't know if you can see it in the camera actually. Uh, but that's the star flyer in front and it's lit up green and red because it's Christmasy! Abby, can you wait Jacob? <laughs> Either asleep in the back. We're almost there. Uh, 1.8 miles. Whoop whoop! Serpent Santa this time. They had a Serpent Santa over there last time. Look, they're like candy canes. Okay, let's do you a room tour before we get all of our stuff out and everything becomes a mess. So this is a very basic hotel. Um, so, you know, don't have really high expectations, but we've stayed before and it did its job for the amount of money you paid for it and we were really happy with it. We've come back again. So you've got your little sink area there, which is just outside the bathroom. Got a nice big bath, shower, towels, toilet, everything you need. Uh, we've got a little wardrobe area. Oh, we've got two safes for some reason. One up there, one up there, iron and ironing board. I did bring some hangers with me. I know that's really sad, but I remembered that there weren't many hangers, so I brought more with me. Oh, and we've got like a little shelf area down there. It's quite good for shoes, actually. The shoes on there. And then you come into the main room, and we've got everyone just lazing out on the beds, on the phones. All right, on the remote control then. <laughs> So you've got two double beds. Would you say a double or queen? They're a bit bigger than a double, aren't they? Yeah, so two queen beds. Big TV. Storage rack. Desk. Chair. Two USB charges on the wall, that's pretty cool. We're here. Yeah, and there. Um, so yeah, they are really good for plugs, actually, in this hotel. There's three plugs there and two USBs as well. And then you've got a couple of drawers down here. Microwave. Coffee machine. Fridge. Oh, I'll open the fridge. I know people like to see an open fridge. Is it cold? Yes, it is. Another little shelf, ice bucket, and little cups. Air conditioning unit, and we've got a pretty cool view. Right, it is a car park view. However, look at that slingshot. I'm not actually sure what that area is called. I think I did mention it last time. I can't remember. So if I find out what it's called, I'll tell you. Um, but Gator Golf is just opposite us as well. I think that might be that there that's flashing green and red. I think that's Gator Golf. <sighs> yeah. So what should we do now? I think we should go and get something to eat and a drink. Yeah. Because I really need a drink. So that is our room. 
pretty basic, but for the amount of money we pay for it, more than happy. We are in block five. Last time we were in block four, and when you walked outside, um, you were kind of opposite the pool. So obviously this time we're not, we're a little bit further along. Not too far though, I don't think. And I do quite like that you can see the slingshot out the window. So that's pretty cool. So if um, I wasn't thinking, if you just walk that way, you go to the pool. Just to the pool right? I think you're. I think if you just walk there, I think you literally come out right next to where our room was last time. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. yeah. So we'll do that in a bit. But yeah, I think we're going to go and get something to eat. It is ten to nine. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be going to bed now. We need to go and do something. So I think we should go and walk down my drive and get something to eat. Modern families on. Oh, and car parking's free. Yeah, I good. booked on booking.com and it's a resort fees included and car parking is included as well, which is perfect because we have a car this time, as you know already. It was a hundred dollar deposit. Somebody asked me what was the deposit on the room at the Avanti and I couldn't remember from the last time. And I said to you, watch our next travel day vlog and I will let you know what the deposit is. So there you go, it's a hundred dollars. So it was $628 for seven nights, because we're here for seven nights, and then a $100 deposit. And obviously, as long as you don't cause any damage, when you check out, that $100 will be refunded. So this is the building we're in. We came out of the bottom door there. And here's the pool. This is what I love about this hotel. It's such a nice pool area. Drink is warmer. Because you said it was cold last time. It's just really nice. Just gonna go through reception area and then we go and get some food. I will actually do a whole tour of this hotel because it does get a lot of really bad reviews. So I just wanna sort of show you around. So I'll do an actual tour only video um, at some point as well. So you can see everything. I was right. The building that was flashing green and red is Gator Golf. And there's a slingshot next to it. And there's our hotel. And that's our block that we're in right there. We're gonna go and get something to eat. We don't know what we're getting yet. Jake said he's not hungry. He just wants a drink. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Abby's semi-hungry. Ian's hungry. Okay, we're just gonna walk down here and just see what catches our eye and then go and grab something. Oh, good timing. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. She can't do it on her own. Well, if she's not done that, did the drop. I said to her, right, we're going to do it in a minute. And she was like, what, with you? And I said, yeah. And she's like, no, I don't want to do it with you. She's taking it out. You with your screen. You wouldn't do it. Right, we are going to try chilies. Is there two entrances? Yeah, one big sign, it says chilling Oh, yeah. well, there's a sign over there as well. Yeah, that's like, oh. Look how huge cups. The refills are nice, I should get one for you. I really needed a drink. Oh yes. Do you know what, I have never ordered chips and guacamole before. I've ordered nachos because I always like guacamole. That's huge. I can't really tell how big it is, but it's huge. Abby's got some fries. Jake wasn't hungry, like he said he wasn't. And then we've got this, which is called the Triple Dipper. Mm -hmm. So these are like mozzarella. We said fried mozzarella. We thought they were going to be like sticks, but they, they're ginormous. Look at the size of that. And then two little burgers and some chicken, like chicken strips. Is it hot? No, <laughs> it's hot when I touched it. <laughs> These are very nice. That is quite spicy. I don't worry. Well, I bet to everybody else that's not spicy, but to me it's spicy. But they're really nice as well. Nice chip. Hot chip. In case you want to see the menu, this is what I ordered fresh guacamole served with chips and salsa. This is what Ian ordered, but you choose which ones you want. So we've got the mozzarella, the big mouth bites, which are the burgers, and then the chicken crispers. Drink refills. Get your burgers. 
I've got no room on the table, so I'm kind of balancing this on my lap. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I didn't see this at first when we ordered, but that's good. Free for me to drink appetizer and an entree starting at 10 99 So you choose a drink, so like, Coke, for instance, lemonade, iced tea, and um, or if you want alcohol, appetizers. It's quite a good choice. It's quite a good choice for the main course as well. Um, do you want more water? More the water, yes, please. Thank you. Can you try this big bag? Yeah, I'm good. Desserts look good though. This is our bill, 37 64 and then you can do it on here and it came up and then you could donate money to charity if you round it up, so I did, and then once you um, scanned your card, I did Apple Pay, um, it then came up and asked you to add your tip on, so I did that, and then after a little survey. Oh, now it's got a little picture of Jojo. Uh, what breed is it? Labrador. <laughs> No, I don't want to play because you just may charge me for it. So what's your thoughts on chilies? Um, the burger, 10 out of 10. Little burgers, little sliders. Yeah, mozzarella sticks, 10 out of 10. The chicken, 2 out of 10. It's a bit watery, weird. <laughs> um, oh, bang it into Jake's head. Hi, Jake. The actual restaurant itself, I'll say it was a little bit on the run down side. Yeah, well, it wasn't what I was expecting either. I mean, if, if you said to me Applebee's or chilies, I would go Applebee's. And I would say it's the same sort of restaurant. Yeah. Maybe, but I did really like it. But maybe it just needs a bit of makeover. Maybe it's just that one. Maybe, because we went to Applebee's on iDrive, which is oh, down there. Oh. Um, when we come in December last year. And that was a lot more Run, I say run down, it's not bad. I don't mean really, really bad when I say run down, but it was a bit more older run down here compared to the one that we go to on the 27. So maybe it's just a. But I really enjoyed the slide on. Would you, if I said to you, should we go back to Chili's, would you be like, yes? Yeah. I wouldn't rush back, but I would go back. I'm not like, I wouldn't go back there. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't ask Abby for her what opinion. What is going on with my hair? <laughs> what is your opinion oh, on chilies, Abby? I only tried the chips. <laughs> Why did you want me to film you? <laughs> you tried the burger. Like a bite. Right, you're still trying it, isn't it? It was okay. You didn't go in there hungry anyway, though, did you? No. No. There you go. Abby wanted me to record her answering what she thought, and that's all she gave you. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't talk to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, I am always going to be completely honest with you. We asked to change rooms um, from the room that I've shown you because the door doesn't shut properly. Well, it does shut, but you have to lift it to shut it, which isn't great. So we went to reception and we asked if um, we could move rooms. Actually, it was quite funny because I said to the lady at um, reception, um, it's off the hinge, so could we change? She thought I was just being really cool. Like, you know, it's off the hinge. No, I mean, it's actually off the hinge. <laughs> I'm not that cool. And so anyway, she gave us one up on the second floor. Um, oh, I think this is the room. Sorry, I just interrupted myself then. I asked if they had a... <laughs> so we asked for another room and it was on the second floor. So we went up to look at that room um, and there, there was builders in the room next door. So I'm not sure what they were doing in there, um, but it might mean they're allowed all day, every day. I don't know. It's really late now and they were still in there at this time. Um, and overlooked the I-4, which is quite loud. So I went back and said, I'm really sorry. And then asked to change again. So she's given me another one, which is now on this floor, again where our first room was. Um, 
but it is on the other side, but it's not as loud. So I'm going to show the others and see what they think and see if they're happy with that one. But I'll show you what I mean about this door in a second. Okay, so back in the old room, I noticed there were two safes, which I mentioned before. This one actually is broken and this one works. However, I could take that out. So if I was a thief and I wanted a, a safe, I could steal it because it's not attached to anything. Okay, and I mentioned the door doesn't shut. So let's come off the hinge. As you can see down there. So you have to lift it to shut it. Not too much of a fussy person. Um, to be fair, reception were amazing. Lovely staff. Didn't moan once. Quite happy to just swap that over for me <laughs> three times. New bedroom. One safe that works. And is attached. <laughs> the door that shuts. Everything else is exactly the same as I've already showed you. Too bad. So it's pretty much identical, isn't it? Oh, we've got, we've got an extra chair. You didn't have an extra chair in the other room. We don't have a view of anything. There's no view of the slingshot, unfortunately, but it's a more secure room. So did you enjoy playing musical rooms? Yeah. <laughs> They kept keeping us in this block though. They could have moved us to a different block, but they kept yeah, sticking with this block. They said no, didn't they? Yeah, they could have said, well, the first room they couldn't have said no because the door didn't shut properly. And the second room though, they didn't need to then say that we could move again. And she didn't moan at all. She just said, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we just spent the last hour unpacking everything in our final room. Hopefully there's no more room swaps. Got everything out, put everything away, found a home for it. And now I'm going to say goodnight because Ian's already in bed, Jake's already in bed, Abby's getting ready for bed and it is 11.30. You know you have to do it. It's 11.30 here. It's 4.30 at home. So yeah, it's time for bed. Anyway, we will see you in the morning. If you enjoyed the video, then please do give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away